All right, let's study. <laughs> so these names, the phospholipocytol, whatever names these are, the phospholipid C mechanism, inactive form. So this is like the difference of cyclic AMP, just in a different form with some different changes. But it's pretty much similar in like what's happening. So your hormone binds to the receptor in one. And then this is going to be your uh, GQ protein. The other one was a was a GS subunit. So you get that active. So the same thing is going to be GTP becomes GTP. So then when that binds, this changes to that to that. So that comes to phospholipid C. And when you get that active here, basically your, your PIP2 becomes either IP3 or DAG. Di dicycloglycerol but then your PIP2 goes to IP3 becomes step 5 your calcium gets released in the endoplasmic reticulum or this or the smooth reticulum so basically when your calcium gets released here it comes over here to DAG di dicycloglycerol and that becomes protein kinase C and then that can get your physiological actions so basically it's the same system as the cyclic AMP, it's just the differences are in like the GQ and then the phospholipid C and then what's happening in this area where PIP2 becomes IP3, IP3 gets a calcium to be released, and goes over here to DAG and then makes protein kinase C. So there you have it.